Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Murderink. I am the new Chief Executive Officer of Plarium. I will be the one front running from now on on Raid Shadow Legends, our gigantic project that has become a huge success all across the world. On top of introducing myself, I do want to let you guys know that while we did have a good direction going forward, I would like to slightly move away from what we've been doing before and introduce a few new concepts to you. So definitely give me your feedback and let me know what you think about this proposal. One, one moment, please. Hello? Pack sales are down. This is what you're going to do. And listen very closely. Reduce the price by $20. Call it 90% off. Relaunch it. Also, you're fired. Sorry about that. Never a dull day in the work environment. As I was saying before, I plan on taking this company in a new direction. First thing I want to do, and I cannot stress this enough, while I do appreciate community feedback, I want to make the bold statement and say Plarium is going to follow its set guidelines and not be distracted by what the community thinks it wants. Half the community wants one thing, half of the community wants the other thing. Regardless of what we do, there will always be unhappy people. So instead of catering to what people think they want, and we're going to use feedback based on what we implement that we think is in your and our own best interest, and we can build from there. One key thing I have seen in the past is players have complained that not enough champions were getting reworks and rebalances, so that was taken off the table for about two to three months. So that was our first mistake by listening to the community, thinking that if we did what they want, they would be happy. Now we realize that that is not going to be the case. The first thing we're going to address today is our rework, balance, and buff policy. As I've seen from the past, what the company is trying to do is trying to take these top tier champions, lower them down in the bottom tier champions, and raise them up a little. What I propose instead is, obviously there's a threshold, instead of just lowering and increasing, we're going to keep the top tier champions where they're at, and we're just going to buff the bottom tier champions to minimize the gap between the two, so no one suffers any nerves if a champion is considered truly broken and is not working as intended and is ruining player experience and making gameplay too easy, all of these things, then we will consider a nerf. We will apologize and then of course we will give proper compensation for making the mistake of making the champion too powerful without properly test it. Which goes to our next point. Me and myself, I do enjoy like playing games. The one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not only invest in the company, but invest in myself and my self-interest in this game. If I don't play the game, I don't know how it works. How can you expect me to be able to make this game as good as it possibly can be? So it's going to be my job to make sure that I'm playing this game. I know the mechanics in and out so I can give direct feedback to my development team and say, this is what we need to do. This would be good, this would be bad, instead of looking for player feedback for the majority who might not be doing testing since this game is a bit expensive if you want to progress quickly and basing decisions off of that metric. Now the next thing I want to talk about is what we are giving our players and what we are making them pay for. The first thing I want to do is legendary books is the biggest thing that I want to address here. As much as I'd like to say just giving legendary books people are going to be happy they would not be happy i can guarantee you i would bet my personal rate account on it if you gave everybody five legendary books once a month at the end of each month the top complaint would be we aren't pulling enough legendaries to use these books on because you're not giving us enough chances to get those legendaries now i would bet my account on that and i stand by that so the first thing i'd propose we do is on top of getting a sacred shard for completing that monthly mission, you would also get a legendary book. While it is just once a month, it is one new way to implement legendary books into the game where you don't have to do anything besides use your daily energy, complete those daily quests, and after the month you will get a sacred shard on top of a legendary book. Now the next thing I would do is I would make it so players can play the game longer. I know business very well, I know marketing very well. Our marketing department is second to none in the entire industry you can check any other game their marketing department cannot touch what we have to offer with that being said i need to make a way for everyone who's playing this game not to simply buy one or two packs and then quit the game 
I need to make it so they can play for longer and give them an incentive to spend a little bit of money so they will keep coming back and buying more. Now while that may be the case for the minority of players now who really want to reach that end game very quickly, I can definitely do a better job in selling this game to people by letting them play for longer. So what do I exactly mean by that? tripling the amount of energy you get on a daily basis that is the first thing i would do so you can play the game more realize how much more you can actually get by the more you play which is going to incentivize you to buy the offers that we are offering from the store what we're talking about here is simply basic psychology now i know duplicates is a hot topic this is something that i'm not even going to talk about it's going to be implemented there's going to be a good way to do it as far as finding the right way to do it that is something that only analytics can show my company it would be wrong for me to come onto here in some type of press release to speculate something that could possibly be changed down the line so unless i know 100 percent that something is going to be implemented i'm not going to preach it to you as if it's going to be now that we've covered a few things let's talk about content release now other games have definitely done a better job of releasing content than raid shadow legends however we do hold one thing over all of these other games the amount of new players that we're bringing in no one can touch us on top of that it does have a lot to do with our marketing however we feel that although it's taking a little bit too long to release content we are going to work on that content is going to come faster however we are not going to rush anything my goal is to make sure that every single piece of content that comes out is flawless and there's no chance for anything to go wrong obviously when releasing something on a server this size with a global player base unexpected errors can occur that can be fixed quickly however i will never be releasing untested content that can have major flaws that can have severe side effects such as a battle pass coming out banning players due to improper coding that is never going to happen with me behind the wheel here and that i can promise you outside of that the next thing is the difficulty of the content now this is something you should definitely be looking forward to in the void tower and that i can confirm this is going to be hard and keeping me on board i will not be nerfing it i want players to struggle I want you to have to farm more gear. Yes, it's going to make me more money in the end, but it's also going to give you a long-term goal to look forward to. Now, while I don't want early game and mid game players to not be able to do this content, I want to make sure they can only get to a certain level before fully progressing their accounts. If they can get too far based on having certain legendaries, certain epics, that is defeating the purpose of making sustainable content for any single game. You should have to properly build your champions regardless of their quality to progress through any type of difficult content and as i just mentioned the void tower will in fact be difficult now that we have that covered obviously the hydra clan boss is going to be coming out i don't have enough information as mentioned before if i cannot tell you something that's going to be 100 percent factual for when it's going to come out i'm not even going to bring it up we also have other factions we are working hard on getting that battle pass out to make sure we make money as well as you guys getting proper efficiency out of what you're purchasing. Now this is called being fully transparent here. If I have a pitch for a Battle Pass 2 and I don't think I can make enough money on it, I am not going to release it to you because that is not how a business works. I'm going to make sure things are equally beneficial for myself and for you as the player before I release anything to this game that costs money. That is going to be the best way to approach this, no matter how you look at things. Now, the final thing that I do want to talk about today are shard pulls, RNG, drop rates. Everyone knows that it's very disappointing when you spend money on something and you do not get what you're looking for. The first thing that I want to do is, if you calculate how many ancients you get per month for free based on dungeon drops in the marketplace, as well as the daily quests, the first thing I'm going to do is triple that. That's another thing, and I believe in the power of three. I'm going to triple that, giving you more champions to work with. On top of tripling your energy, this will give you more resources to farm, and it will give you more resources to actually focus on the champions that you're pulling, because that is going to be the hardest part in increasing the amount of shards a player can get. If a newer player gets overwhelmed with the amount of champions they get, they won't know who to focus on, they will not be able to progress as fast as someone who simply focused on one or two champions. So while I do want to give you guys more shards, I also want to make sure you're focusing all your effort properly to make sure you can reach the end of the game, because the purpose in any single game is to make sure all of the players are playing all the way through the game. 
while there definitely is a market for me putting more money into the marketing team, having players play, having them spend some money and then quit, that's not what I'm looking for because while that may make money up front, it will not make long term money for my company. And as I said before, I'm not here to just make you happy. No business owner is ever going to do that. It's not realistic. If that's what you expect, you are literally living in a fantasy world. Things have to work for you and they also have to work for me. And based on what I've seen so far, I can do better. And to conclude this message, that's what I promise to you. I will do better on delivering on my end. And I have high faith that this game can continue to be one of the best games on the market. So I would like to thank you all for your time. It was a pleasure to get to meet you. And I look forward to the continued success of Raid Shadow Legends with you as the player base. Because this game cannot happen without you. And this is something that I think about every single day.